Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host AMF1534 here. Welcome back to Let's Play some more Half-Life Opposing Force, also known as the loudest sound in the world. I'm not talking about here, because this is this is this is good silence, but prepare for your ears to be raped so hard. I know it's really bad, man, but I promise I'll try to get out of this quickly, because, you know. It's just, uh, we may be stuck in this corridor for a little bit because there's guys here. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's gonna get ugly. But I've got to imagine that we're, we're kind of stumbling around in, like, end-of-the-game territory here. Because things are getting pretty wild right now. I mean, they really are. I was just imagining there was probably a guy up there. He may have been, he may not have been, but I'm not about to, uh... I'm not about to try to find out the hard way. No, you don't. So that guy obviously did not die. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no! <laughs> Alright, well, he got the best of me. Alright, so apparently I did not kill that man. But I'm going to try, damn it. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yeah! Okay. Oh, no. There we go. Oh, come on. Yeah, he's dead. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Question is, though, is there another one of these guys around here? Because I could have sworn that the, 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 the time that I died earlier last episode, there was another guy over there. But apparently there's not. But you just wait. I'm going to go up here, and there's going to be a guy there, and he's going to kill me, and it's going to be stupid. Also, actually, I want to go back down. I think there might be some health down here. Whenever there's a box, I must check. And there was nothing, but there was a whole bunch of grenades, though, for my uh, for my assault rifle, so that's tight. I will totally take that without any hesitation. But what about these? Yes! Yeah! It's health! Feeling good now. This is, this is awesome. We're going to save right here because I don't trust anything anymore. Okay. Oh, no. Closed quarters. This is always this is always a plus. Oh boy. But yeah, dude, I've got to imagine like you know it, things have been getting pretty wild lately, and just via the merit of video games being video games, when you start getting into crazy stuff, that usually means that the end is near. Are there any? Dude, I got to imagine there's got to be a guy around here somewhere. About here. Ah! No! Of course. Why wouldn't he be right there? Alright, but at least on the plus side, now we know. Now we know, and now we're going to have to think of a very weird plan on how we're going to pull this off, because he's in a weird spot. And if I just throw one of these grenades here, it might kill me. But, here's for trying. Yeah! Awesome. Got him. Oh! Oh, God, there was another one right there, and it freaked me out. <laughs> so badly that I destroyed my own body in the process. We're going we're gonna to get there, though. We're going we're gonna, to... Ah! We're going to do it. We just need to do it before we get behind the wall. Awesome. Man, that worked out really well. Sick. Oh, yeah. Now we've got all the goods. And chain gun ammo? Sweet. I'm down with every part of that. This is this is good. I am super down with this. Okay, here we go. So uh, I had a good good friend of mine come down and, or come up, I guess, and visit from uh, California. It was crazy because I actually didn't even know that he was going to be showing up. He just all of a sudden was like, hey, I'm in town, by the way, so we should totally kick it. And so that is why I did not film anything last night. Um, but it was it was pretty cool, though. We went uh, we went to, uh, we just went and hung out at the uh, at the arcade, the, the barcade, I guess. The old coin jam, my 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 weapon of choice. So we were hanging out there for a while and it was pretty cool. Just, uh, you know, drinking beers and having a good time, whatever. There's a lot of people down here. Like, seriously? I don't need this right now. I mean, at least if I can get rid of some of these grenades and... Oh! <laughs> Man, that was serious. Holy smokes. This is a time that I really wish I had my, uh, my sniper rifle. This would make everything so much easier. But... You know what? It's it's we're we're making it work, so that's that's fine. It's it's totally good. Oh, there's a guy over there. He's way out there, and he's gonna die. Oh no, you don't. Yes. Man, that thing is awesome. That gun is just way better than any. Oh no! 
Oh! Ooh, and there was going to be more people coming in after that, so I guess it's not so bad that we just died. Here we go, here we go. Got to duck down. Got to duck down and get ready. So, yeah, it was, I mean, it was cool. We just, we hung out, had some beers, just talked shit. And then when we were leaving, we just, uh, we just decided that we were going to hang out outside of the place for a while. And, uh, you know, just shoot the shit some more before he had to leave. And, uh, so... We're just, uh, we're just hanging out there, and then all of a sudden, uh, like, this, uh, this bum comes by. And, like, I don't know, dude, bums are always, they're, they're always a grab bag. Like, you never know quite what you're gonna get out of any given bum. Like, they might just be just a simple homeless person. No big deal or anything. Or you might get what we got, and we got one that was, like, super drugged out. Like, I don't know if it was, like, meth, or if it was crack, or what. But whatever it was, it was pretty bad. Where is this guy at? I don't understand where he is. I'll tell you one thing, though. We do need to... Oh, we need to get on top of that crate, like, immediately. That guy's dead. Awesome. So here we go. We're gonna go leap of faith! Oh. Another tiny leap of faith. Here we go. Okay, everything's good now. So, yeah, we're, we're just, like, standing out there, and then all of a sudden, this, uh, like, Native American may have been a dude, but I'm not, I'm not convinced that it was a dude, so it was probably a lady. I mean, dude looks like a lady. And, uh, she, like, walked up to us, and she had, like, this little portable radio, and it had, like, all the jams on it. Every one of them. Like, I, I can't, I can't recall all of them, like, off the top of my head right now, but I, just, trust me, they were jams. Huh, that was really weird. The whole thing just, like, totally seized up on me for a minute. But, looks like we're good now, so let's move on some more. Alright, I mean, at least at least we have respectable amounts of health now. This, this is always a good thing. This really is. I mean, if we can just... Oh, God, it scared me. You've got to get down below. There's something coming through, and it's the nastiest looking thing yet. Some of your buddies went down there a while ago, and I haven't seen them since. I've got some weapons I've piled up in here. You better take as much as you can carry, because I think this is it. Good oh, luck, boy. Corporal. Dude, we might be we might be at the end of this then. Oh boy. Holy shit. I've waited my whole life for this moment. Yeah, dude, this is uh I mean, if a guy if a guy is telling us all this stuff and he's leaving us a storage of weapons. I mean, first of all, like, why wouldn't he do it? Like, he 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 went through weapons training. Like, why wouldn't he go down there and do it? He the guy's just a guy's just a little Nancy boy, you know. He's sitting there like, no, there's got there's there's gonna be a time when someone's gonna walk through here and and they're they're gonna know what to do because I I do not know what to do. This is this is not an area that I am uh, particularly well versed in here. So you know. We're just gonna we're gonna let someone else take care of it, and I don't blame him in the least. Like if there were if there was an opportunity to let somebody else deal with what we're probably gonna see soon, I would totally let that happen. You know? What the hell is it? Oh oh, it's this thing. I was like, why are we like involuntarily moving backwards? <laughs> and then I realized we're getting suction. Nope. Is there anything in there? Nope, nothing in there. But what about in here? But yeah, dude, so she, like, walks up to us, she's got, like, her radio, and she's, like, super drugged out, and she, like, she kept saying a bunch of things that didn't make any sense, like, can I go buy you guys some beer? Like, what, what, what time should I go? Like, 2.30? Because, you know, clearly, no place is gonna be selling beer at that hour. And, uh, and she kept saying stuff like, do you believe in God because aliens rule the world? And I wonder if, wait, can I, can I get into that thing? It kind of looks like a little door. Can I get in there? Let me get in here. Who's in there? Who's... Hey. Alright, there is something here. Cool. Alright, yeah. More mitigation. I'm totally done with that. She was, like, saying just random stuff like that. And, like, it made me feel really uncomfortable, like, at least four or five times. Like, at one point, uh, he, she, or it, or whatever, came up and asked us for money. And so, you know, we did. I gave her... I, I only had just some quarters, so I gave her a few quarters. Or her, or him, or her, it, or whatever. And, uh, you know, it... And then, and then, uh, and then the person left. And so we're like, okay, no big deal. Alright, what's, what's in here? Oh my god! What in the world? What is this? Oh, no. What? Ah! 
Majin Buu's coming back to life! Oh god, okay, this is this is bad. Alright, we're, we're just gonna go up here for a minute. Oh god, dude, I don't like this. I don't like this purple flashing business. Ugh. Oh, tight, the goo! I remember the goo, yeah! Alright, this is... I don't like this at all. I mean, are we looking at, like, final boss stuff right here, or what are we looking at? I don't... I don't... I don't know... Like, do I want to go in that portal, or... Oh, no! What the... Whoa! Dude, what in the world is that? Are you kidding me right now? Alright, well, what are these... What are these little... Oh! Okay, alright, this is... Okay, I need to... I need to... I need to calm down for a minute. <laughs> I need to... I just need to chill. I, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself here, and it's, it's not a good look. Alright, let's let's go back in the goo here. Holy smokes, man. This is... This is wild. I mean, is this the last boss right here, or what? Like, what... What... what uh... Okay, what... Uh, whatever that... It was shooting at me, I don't think I want any part of that. So... Okay, maybe in the eye. Oh, okay, yeah, all right, shoot him in the eye. That's, that's, uh, oh. Dude, he's already knocking things, ah! He's already knocking things out over here. All right, well, he's got two eyes. An eye is an eye. An eye is an eye, and a hole is a hole. So here we go. Oh, what in the world? What is that, like a portal? I don't know if that's actually doing anything. Like, is that, oh, yep, yep. It's gotta be doing something. He's pissed. He's pissed. I need to go. I need to. I need to not be in this area. Uh, I got an idea. Oh! What the hell is that? Oh, it's just okay. It's just more dudes coming out of here. God, it scared the hell out of me. I was like, ah! He's going cataclysmic. But yeah, dude, like, she just kept saying a bunch of things that didn't make any sense. And like, at one point, she was getting like abnormally close to Maddie. Like, like within like four inches of him and she was like playing around with his necklace and I'm sitting here talking to my friend Kevin I was like dude if she just walks over to him and just like fucking kisses him on the mouth or something I am going to fucking lose it I am going to run all the way down the alley while like simultaneously pissing my pants out of laughter because oh no our bridge is gone damn it I guess we have a ladder though Whoa! oh great now we got people shooting at us from below yeah that's just what we need all right, here we go. Open up your weird little compartment so I can shoot you. I really don't know if this is doing anything, but I have to imagine you have to shoot at it. You can't just not shoot at it. Yep, there we go. Had to be doing something there. All right, we, we need to. We need to go. We need to. We need to be somewhere else here. As soon as his eye opens, I guess we'll go shoot him again, or something to that to that nature. But so she never ended up doing it, but. Yeah, dude, it was just, it was weird. Like, I felt really uncomfortable. Not just because it was a bum that was on drugs, but, like, it had, there was, like, like, the person had, like, a really happy-go-lucky nature. Like, they didn't seem, they seemed fairly harmless, but, like, you never know what you're gonna get with bums, man. Like, especially when they're on drugs. Like, you never know that at any given moment they may just try to, like, totally, like, their emotions may totally flip and they'll just try to destroy you. Like, you don't, you don't know that's gonna happen or not and like I had that vibe a couple of times like the person came and walked up near me and I just had like this this weird feeling that you know if this person like just goes AWOL and tries to you know like jump one of us like I don't know if anybody's gonna be able to really do anything about it so I kind of I just decided to keep my distance and you know watch from afar just because you know that's kind of the person that I am I'd much rather survey the field than have to necessarily play the field in some of those situations. So, yeah, dude, it was it was mad creepy though. And at one point, um, at one point, we're like we're like uh, we see like this group of people that are walking up towards us, and it's like a group of four of them. And like one guy is wearing like medical scrubs, and uh, one of them, uh, one of the other kids looks like. Oh, here we go. Oh, come on, baby, unload the good stuff. Here we go. Like, there's a part of me that almost feels kind of bad for this guy. He's just like, ah! I just wanted to hang out! Like, I don't mean any harm! <laughs> but, you know, that's what, it, what goes on. But there's, like, a group of guys walking around. Like, one guy has, like, medical scrubs on, and there's, like, just two other guys that are, like, 
they're like pretty much carrying this other kid and apparently it was his 21st birthday and he just got super drunk like he was he was like barely coherent at all oh tight we have one of those he was like barely coherent at all and uh he was just like just pretty much toast and so his friends were carrying him out which was you know a pretty tight thing to do like you don't just leave him there or, like make him take a taxi or something and so they're just walking down the sidewalk, and they go right by us, and, uh, you know, we're kind of just, we're kind of like, like, is everything all right? And they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, he just, he just drank too much, no big deal. And, uh, so, so we leave him be, and they're like, yeah, we're just, we're just walk the, the guy that had, like, the, the scrubs on, they're like, yeah, we're just walking back to my car, and it's, uh, it's right over here. And they're sitting there, like, the kid is just struggling, like, you can just tell that he is, like, barely holding it together because of how much... You know, he's just been, like, stumbling around, whatever. And then all of a sudden, the guy... Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, damn it all! Really? Really? Oh, we gotta do the whole thing again. Oh, that sucks. All right, we'll take one more crack at this thing, because this is kind of a lengthy battle. So, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll take one more shot at it, and then we'll call it good for the day. But... Dude, they're they're walking down the they're walking down the street and then all of a sudden the guy that had like the, the scrubs on, he's like, Hey, wait a minute. We passed my car a long time ago. He's like, oh, I'm sorry. And I'm just sitting here thinking, like, wait a minute, you're not even drunk. This kid's like just in like a pile of his own shit just about. And all of a sudden he comes out with, Oh, we passed my car a long time ago. And so they turn around, and they just gotta, like, drag him. Like, he's almost at the point where he's not even walking anymore. They're just, like, dragging him down the street. And, uh, yeah, dude, it was, it was like, super bad look. And then they go and they go back to their car, and the bum that was talking to us decides that she's gonna leave us alone, finally. And she goes over and starts talking to those guys. And, uh, and so we're like, shit, dude, we gotta, we gotta get out of here. So we go and we run down the alley, uh, just to the other side of the road. Oh, oh, come on, hurry up, stop being, like, ethereal, and let me start shooting you in the eye. Come on, whenever you're ready. Let, let your eyes become part of the physical plane here, here we go. So, yeah, she decided to go be their, their problem, finally. And, uh... Yeah! Alright, I mean, I guess that... Could have gone better, could have gone worse. Um, whoop. Yeah, there we go. So, oh no, oh my god, okay, that was, that was not good. That was really bad, actually. We need to, we need to go, we need to go over here. There we go, alright, into the goo. Man, this, this, dude, this encounter would be so much more ridiculous if we didn't have the, the medical goo over here. It really would, this would be just a total shit shoot. So we run down to the other side of the road, and we're just like, we're like kind of kind of keeping an eye on that general area just in case the person decides to come back and try to, you know, like jump us or something. And so, uh, oh god, oh man, there we go. And uh, so we decide we're gonna leave, but both of our cars were both in that area, and like I come to find out later that where those people were standing was actually right next to my car. So I'm like, dude, I'm not trying to go back over in that area right now. Like, it would be my luck that I go try to jump into my car and, you know, crazy, you know, Coke Snort Mc1 tooth is going to come over here and, like, totally try to, like, jump in my car or something. And then it's going to be, like, you know, fight for your life or for your right to party. I don't really know. Oh, oh, there we go. Alright, go right ahead, fire your crazy little fireball of truth there. Yeah! There, babies! Oh god, oh god, oh man. Okay, that toxic stuff is not good. Okay, we need to go all the way down. Go, 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 Oh man, oh man, it's getting serious. No, no, no. You guys get away from me now. Finally, okay, up we go. Up we go, up we go, up to the promised land. Here we go. Okay. So, yeah, we, d we decide that we're going to leave, and I'm I'm just like, you know what? I'm just going to make a mad dash for my car. I'm going to get in there and just bail the hell out of there, because I am not trying to deal with whatever may or may not happen out of this. 
And so uh, I did, dude. I just I just made a mad dash over there and like got in my car and I just like started to speed off and yeah. So that whole experience was was done and out of the way. But man, it was it was creepy. Like I've had numerous encounters with bums where they're just like super cool people and they just have like stories to tell. And oh god, oh here we go. What the hell's going on? I'm sorry, Dad. I couldn't fulfill the dream. I tried. Oh my God. Uh. Uh. Did we do it? All of our bullets are gone now. Ah, it's you. So, Corporal Shepard, we meet at last. Why do you don't talk don't like you do? It's square. It's it's scary. Many matters require my attention in these troubled times. Why is why are his eyebrows so big? What is this? Like Eugene Levy's cousin? Further indulgence on your part. I cannot close my report until every loose end has been tied up. The biggest embarrassment has been. Black Mesa facility, but I think that's finally taken care of itself. <laughs> what was that all about? Did he just like, whoa! Did he. What the hell? But there is still the lingering matter of witnesses. I admit I have a fascination with those who adapt and survive against all odds. They rather remind me of myself. If for no other reason, I have argued to preserve you for a time. Uh, whoa! While what I believe a civil servant like yourself understands the importance of discretion, my employers are not quite so trusting, and rather than continually subject you to the irresistible human temptation of telling all, we have decided to convey you somewhere you can do no possible harm and where no harm can come to you I'm sure you can imagine there are worse alternatives <laughs> so we're just going to throw you out into a void for the rest of it of your human life I want to go into that that looks way better than what's out there but I can't move so I guess we're not going to be doing any of that status detained huh Huh. I wonder if any one of these uh, next, like, I don't know, uh, like expansions or any of the other Half-Life games, I wonder if any of them will actually, like, revisit that whole thing. Huh. Dude, this was crazy. This game was awesome. Like, it was, it was, it was short and sweet, but man, it was good. <laughs> it kind of, like, the, I mean, I, I guess I did call the end being right there, but... It seemed a little bit abrupt, like I thought that maybe when we killed the monster we were going to have to like go into a portal and then fight something even worse, but I mean, you know, if that for being a final boss, that was actually kind of that was actually kind of cool. It was a, it was kind of a cool idea having to use those two laser guns right there to, you know, shoot him in the eyes to make him expose his weak point. I think that was actually a pretty cool concept there. I liked it. I liked it a lot. So, yeah, dude, that was my bum experience. Uh, I, I've definitely had... That was one of the weirder ones that I've had. It, like, you would have had to have been there to experience, like, a lot of the weird vibes and everything, but it was just, a, like, the, the demeanor didn't fit a little bit. Like, it was just like, oh, I'm so happy-go-lucky, but there was just, like, a part of me that thought, at, at any given moment, this person is just going to fucking, like, just flip the switch, and I am going to die. So <laughs> I'm going to just kick back here for a while. Well, damn, dude, this was this was really this was really sick. I definitely am going to play some more Half-Life games here in the near future. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do Blue Shift or not. I, I've heard from some people that it's it's not really worth playing, but I think I might do it anyways. We'll see. I, I'm going to kind of you know weigh out the whole thing. So we'll uh, we'll go from there. But is there anything else here? Apparently, I can still I can still jump. I can't do anything else though. I mean, I don't really know. Huh. I can't choose weapons. I can't jump. I can't do anything really. I don't know if there's anything else to do here. Uh. Hmm. Alright, well, with that knowledge, because 
we simply can't do anything or go anywhere. I think it may have like glitched out or something. So, my friends, for all of you guys that stuck around and watched the series, I thank you. This has been AMF1534 saying thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next series as I try to figure out exactly what that's going to be. So, you guys take it easy, and I will see you next time. Take care, everybody. Bye.